she's a hero is a great concept from the you know when you tell someone it just comes across as a, as an unusual and a very good concept how does the first idea come she is a hero as a term was not there in the beginning right but the essence of it is how i wrote the whole song that mm-hmm. this, like every woman is a hero how is the music scene in india are you happy with the way it's going you have you plat good platforms to put it out uh, do you see the reach as expect as you expect it to be oh this is so amazing the right. opportunities through streaming and being able to put a video out on youtube mm. and right. i think that there are a number of artists doing amazing amazing work do you have a movie with prabhas you have a movie with chiranjeevi can you tell us a little bit about it we're still doing salar I'm working mm. on film with Chiranjeevi sir, which is quite interesting, right. and I'm working again with Gopi um, mm. after Crack. So that's our right. third film together with Palakrishna sir. So it's just it's been amazing. Shruti Hasan, welcome to Bollywood Angama. Always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. and last few interviews we've done just for your music and you know the kind of music that you make is absolutely amazing uh, shruti this time what do you want to tell the viewers what have you worked on what is this song that's out so i don't know if you've had a chance to see it uh, but it's a song that really came about really very organically right. in the sense that it was something i'd written on the piano maybe at the start mm. of this year Right. And then uh, my partner Shantanu Hazarika had a, an exhibit, an art exhibit, um, right. and he wanted a bunch of his friends to perform. And okay. so he asked me, and he asked MC Altaf, and we kind of figured, oh, you know, maybe we should jam on something together. And he heard a bunch of my tracks, mm-hmm. and this was one that he really liked. And he said that I would love to write about something like this because I don't normally write about this. Mm-hmm. and i was excited to see what he came up with and it was so genuine so mm-hmm. that's how she is a hero was born and right. then we kind of took it into the studio and worked on it so the first producer was karan parik who i worked okay. with on edge as well my previous single right. and then this one karan kanchan who is another music producer came on mm-hmm. and we all kind of made this happen and then came down to the video and i was pretty clear about what i wanted to say through the messaging right. and so with the help of many many people um this is the first production that black that is our company has put out right you know uh, she is a hero is a great concept from the you know when you tell someone it just comes across as a, as an unusual and a very good concept how does the first idea come like how did you think of this first for the first time the beauty of i think ideas that are meant or destined to be born right. is that she is a hero as a term was not there in the beginning right but the essence of it is how i wrote the whole song that mm-hmm. this, like every woman is a hero every mm-hmm. woman has the ability to feel all her range of emotions feel vulnerable feel doubtful and then come out the hero and then right. i wanted to re- my initial chorus was completely different and then right. when i wanted to rework it because when altaf came in his hindi lyric i mean his rap was so powerful mm. and that was inspiring to me and i don't write in hindi so i just came up with she is a hero and then mm. i wanted to say something else but in hindi and i couldn't i can't write lyrics in hindi so that's right. when i enlisted the help of my trusted and most talented right. friend niranjana yangar right and you know then you're saying you were clear about the video what was on your mind initially i mean now we have seen the video we love it oh, initial before making this what was on your mind so um you know we always talk past present and future and right. i wanted these women to be represented and right. so the future is the beautiful little girls that you see in the video yes, and right. they are girls uh, from the shiksha seva foundation yeah and the present would be my tone of voice in the video okay. and the past okay. is for all of us men or women is the women in our family the ones right. behind us the ones right. we spend our time with whose ideas and spirit affects us whether it's our mm. younger sister or our mothers mm. and predominantly altaf's line as well is is duniya mein wo aayi isliye to hum hai we are mm. defined by our past in the best way when it comes to the women in our lives we are here right. because of them so visually i wanted that narrative to be represented in different ways 
and the beauty is the future represented through the girls was so stunning because i said i want them to have fun when they shoot and right. what is everyone love like everyone loves to paint so we said right. that them paint on the wall behind us mm-hmm. and all of that incredible artwork you see in the video is by yeah. those girls and i also think it's a metaphor for the fact that they will paint their future that they will mm. take charge and women hopefully in the future will have more say in what they want to put on the walls wow you know everybody will relate to this you know the past present and the future the way, way you all explain in this how did this collaboration with these girls happen you know that they became a part of the video so it's all thanks to my publicist mansi mehta so yeah i was thinking i definitely want young girls hmm i think you should be get our friends kids should should we get actor kids then i said no but how about like having hope and having these girls represent more than just cute girls in the video and i yeah. spoke to mansi about that and she said that she had been working with this foundation and that she felt that they would be you know probably interested to collaborate and they were amazing yeah. and um it was just a true privilege to have those girls in the video and then have the portion with the projector where we projected the images of our the women in our family mm. and i think the really special bit is you know i had my mom and my sister karan yeah. kanchan had his mom and sister altaf had his mom mm. and we had karan parik who had you know um his his um his chachi and his mom who is no longer with us and that to me was the most poignant mo- moment because aunties no longer with us but her son still represents her memory and everything that she had raised him with the love and the and the lessons you know so right. these two sections are just really really poignant and personal to me right and you know after the video came out uh, the girls have seen it did you speak to them did they do you no, know their feedback we haven't actually gotten in touch with them yes yet oh, but okay. i know that they're quite happy and they were really excited even when it was happening they were like ye yeah. kaam pe aayega theater mein aayega ya youtube mein aayega like they were like Haan. super stoked yeah right right you know uh, shruti you continue to make music for so many years um right now what do you how is the music scene in india are you happy with the way it's going you have you plat good platforms to put it out uh, do you see the reach as expected as you expected to be well yeah i mean you know when i started music here would be 15 20 years ago yes right yes, so yeah. i was part of that group of people yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> and i see musicians who are younger today and i'm just like oh this is so amazing the right. opportunities through streaming and being able to put a video out on youtube mm. um for us it was pretty much just go on tour and the video would play on a channel this is like even before my time right and then at the time that i was studying in music school it was amazing because we had something called myspace mm-hmm. and we can that that platform that social media platform which is one of the og platforms allowed us yeah. to have one or two tracks playing right. as you enter the page and that's how when i was in america i would get gigs and other musicians to collaborate mm-hmm. and we were making the most of facebook and and it's not the facebook you remember today it was right. you know so and so says they had brought, <laughs> you know right. so um things have really really changed and i think as in any industry there's so much room for growth and yeah. there's so much room for you know making these monetizable and profitable avenues of revenue instead of just mainstream film music and right. i think there are a number of artists doing amazing amazing work be it in rap and hip hop alternative music yeah. Yeah. especially i would say what is now considered indian influenced pop music mm. which is just amazing so right. i just tip my hat off to all these amazing new musicians Absolutely, and everybody has a good platform. That's an amazing thing. So, do you remember yeah. about fifteen, seventeen years ago, you were at Hard Rock Cafe mm-hmm. Mumbai performing? I was watching Not there. Fifteen. That was exactly thirteen years ago. Thirteen years ago. So, thirteen years ago, you were there, uh, all spunky, a little bit nervous. I interviewed you at that time as well. Now, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, a lot more confident. What's the biggest change you see in yourself? I think confidence comes with age. Yes. But I think I prefer my confidence then in right. in a way because I was a lot more fearless and I'm actually mm. learning to get back to that. Um nice. what has changed is I think I really value now very much the people that whether it's the people I work with or friendships or colleagues or whoever right. whatever you want to say is 
the people right. who believe in you and stand by you and have integrity mm. and ethics mm. like i really really value this so i hold on to those very good people much harder now than mm. i did before amazing i never thought of taking the easy route and just doing a bollywood song like you know just that would be the easy route in india right yeah i mean i've done songs i've sung for myself i've sung yeah. for others mm. i sang in my first ever film people still right. remember asmalak that's fine but i always loved being the weirdo that sat at the piano alone <laughs> and felt misunderstood and i knew that that's how i wanted my music to look and to sound right. and a lot of people have just been like but i don't get it she's so and so like why couldn't she do this and that but i right. believe everything happens in the way that it's supposed to happen true, and true, true. i'm really thankful for my journey we enjoy your music we also like your movies uh, shruti so could you tell the viewers uh, you have you have a movie with prabhas you have a movie with chiranjeevi can you tell us a little bit about it yeah i'm currently on three projects and i'm ah. back to my roots or in the sense <laughs> of telugu cinema telugu right. cinema and the audience in telugu have been really really amazing to me always right. so um, we're still doing salar i'm working mm. on a film with chiranjeevi sir which is quite interesting right. and i'm working again with gopi um mm-hmm. after crack so that's our right. third film together with palakrishna sir so it's just it's been amazing so and when will the when will be the first release we have a rough idea no clue okay okay i mean it's been it's been like consistently delayed all through this year right. for a number yeah. of reasons so right. it's not in my hands you'll have to right. ask fingers crossed we can't wait for yeah. it